Hello, N4H and H here with the Soda Banditos. Well, three of us anyway. Uh, our fourth Bandito is off on another mountain today. So we're going to try to do some summit to summit with uh, Joel, KC4WZB. But right now we're in Rusty, the trusty Soda Mobile in North Georgia. We're headed to Wildcat Mountain. That's W4G stroke NG-020. And uh, there's W4KWM piloting Rusty. And then back here, there, there he is, there he is, there's Richard in 1RBD. And as you can see, we got a little bit, a little bit of snow here. Um, even a little bit of what we call it, a flurry. Yeah, it's coming at us. So uh, Wildcat's a uh, nice little hike. It's about just slightly under uh, 0.8 mile. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna be at the trailhead here in any second. But I uh, thought I'd give you guys a little view. Look at that, look at the snow. Um, and we've, you know, we've heard about the snow being up here. We've had a group of, of really good friends. Uh, well, you guys know Dean and, and John and Scott and all of them. They've been down here activating in Georgia this week, and they've been talking about the snow. Wow, look at this. Be careful, Wayne. Yeah, get snow chains out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't. And if, if if any of you have seen the video from uh, my mine and Wayne's uh, expeditions in uh, early December, where we were slipping and sliding, there we are at the trailhead. We were slipping and sliding. In fact, there's. Okay, accidentally hit the button there, but um, here we are pulling into the uh, uh, parking spot for Wildcat Mountain. But yeah, we were slipping and sliding down Cowpan in case you saw that video, but that was real. That was a real deal there. All right, we'll catch you, uh, catch you up on the air, hopefully, in 4-H and H and H here. So <clears throat> here we are about to head over to the trailhead. Look at this. So no doubt the summit's going to have snow on it, and that's what we've heard all week anyway. So we're going to head down this way, across the road down there, and... That's where you enter the trail for Wildcat. Well, this trail is going to intersect the Appalachian Trail, but all we're going to do is cross the Appalachian Trail uh, headed toward Whitley Gap. Okay, uh, we'll catch up on the summit. This is N4H and H. N4H and H here. Okay, we're. Let me make a correction. We actually jumped on the AT. Uh, almost after we got across the road and started up. And, uh, isn't that right, Richard? Yeah, we're yeah. going to the parking Gap, that's where the AT is. Where? Hog Pen Gap, where we parked. Okay, okay, so we're on the AT. All right, so correction. But, we're, we're about to uh, get off the AT. The AT goes that way, see the white blaze? But we're gonna get on, Whitley Gap Shelter uh, Trail. You see there, 1.2 miles to Whitley Gap Shelter, but we're not going all the way to shelter. The shelter is about a half a mile past the summit. So about 0.47 to be exact. But uh, we're going to just the summit. You see the blue blaze indicating that we're no longer on the AT proper. Okay, well, Get back at it here, both hands on the trekking poles. 73 friend from N4H &H. and H. N4H and H here. So I just wanted to let you guys know anybody who decides to hike this one and hasn't done it before. Uh okay, I'll have to go back here. Right so this is an area in the trail where you actually have to go down and there's the summit over there but you have to we, hear, we encounter this sometimes and i hate losing elevation but sometimes you do you have to do this you have to go down to get up <laughs> hey richard that's n1 rbd up there leading the way okay back to uh, both hands on the trekking pole 73 for now from n4, n4 h, &H. h here we're arriving at the summit well n1 rbd is already there not much of a vista today because you can't see it uh, but it's still pretty up here with just the snow. Okay, these rocks are slippery. I better get my hands back on my poles. N4H and H, and H clear. Well, here we are, folks, on the summit of Wildcat Mountain. 
W4G NG020. See that rock? That's the magic rock that Joel was sitting at, KC4WZB, when he worked New Zealand with about five watts and an NFED, his LNR setup. Okay, we're gonna get on the air. Thanks a lot, 73 N4 H and H. it too it sounds like something adjacent uh but yeah i'm doing the statue of liberty with the radio way up in the air trying to get to you thanks for the contact w4 kwm clear here we are on a mountaintop guys and it takes another you still have to hold the ht up over your head to get enough altitude i think that's so funny all right oh we had a fun time up here thanks for you folks uh that chased us and I hope you enjoy the videos and I'll photos. Send you a photo from up here. Um, I'm seeing a little bit here. of mountain poking through over there. Um, 73 from N4 H and H. Hey y'all, N4 H and H. I just want you to hear. Man, these wind gusts are incredible. I didn't have the camera out in time, but you couldn't hardly see in front of us a minute ago when it was blowing all the snow out of these trees. Oh man. <laughs> Soda bandito weather. Okay, get the phone out and the wind quits blowing. Yeah, that's right. Height and cast. Both can't steal air. There it comes a little bit. All right, N4 H and H, clear. Hey, y'all. Oh, sorry for the soda hat there. This is N4 H and H back in the truck with the soda banditos. Better be careful. The road has gotten worse since we got back down from uh, Wildcat Mountain. Man, the wind was rent wind was whipping it on the way down some. Uh, that ice on the side of the rocks. Yeah. Man, look at that. Oh, Wayne, I don't like this. It's a slippery curve. I've, I've got mem remembrance here of cow pen. If I have to, next pull up and put chains on. What's the temperature? 28. 28. Don't take any chances. I'm gonna keep it rolling, y'all. If we go down, I want y'all to call the authorities. <laughs> if we go down, they won't get the video. Uh, let's see. You have to upload it from down wherever we stop. Hell yeah. Now you just can't take this stuff for granted because um, you can't take it for granted, I guess. I don't know what it's made out this of. This is asphalt. Oh, asphalt. <laughs> okay. But, um, you know, because again, coming down Cowpen, the snow had melted and then turned to ice, and we were coming down at, at dusk, and we were slippery, slippery uh, slipping and sliding. Yeah, these people were taking it easy, too. All right, looks like it's getting a little bit better down here. All right, we'll catch you later. Thanks for riding along. This is N4 H&H &H with the Soda Banditos and Rusty, the trusty soda mobile. Is anybody up? Yeah, there's quite a, quite a few uh, at Testament Gap, Gap and at the Hog Pen Gap. At Hog Pen, there's quite a few vehicles up there. Are they stuck? No, they're just hiking, sightseeing. Tell it. It's only terrible right up at the gap. Uh, okay. Yeah, and it's not icy. Yet. It's it looks like ice, but it's just so soft. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's dry. Everyone, let's go ahead and close it. Yep. Well, we know not to come back this way. Thank you. <laughs> How going? Okay. So yeah. Uh, let me see if y'all can see that out the back. They just put a sign to block the road. Yeah, all right. So I'm glad we got it done when we did. Um, since Bell Knob's right in Hawassi, though, I think we'll be okay to get on, get up there. Well, the road may not be in great shape. We'll find out. There's a gate there, and they do are known to lock it. So anyway, we're going to grab some coffee right now and warm my fingers up. 73 from N4 H&H. &E. Hey, that's the gate to go up to Brass Town Ball. Road closed. People are still parking there and walking up, I guess. Um, hmm, 
Well, so we're headed to Hiawassee. We're gonna kill a little time, grab some coffee, a snack or whatever, because uh, we're gonna to try to coordinate meeting up with KC4WZB, our other soda bandito, uh, who will be on, uh, uh, who's gonna join us at Bell Knob. Right now he's on Double Spring Knob. Okay, check in with you later in 4H and 8.